Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm actually running behind again. Shocker, I know. What we're gonna do is we're gonna catch a bunch of the ferals, and we're gonna take them over to Dustin's. He has his pigeon buyer coming by, I think, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Well, I have uh, plans tomorrow morning, and so I'm going over tonight, and we're gonna swap out some birds. He's gonna take my plain Jane ferals, and I'm gonna take some of his much prettier, fancier looking, I guess we'll call them barn pigeons. They're really nothing special other than they're different colors. So I gotta go catch these uh, ferals real quick. We're gonna throw them in the Festiva and uh, bomb over there and try and catch his birds then. I think they're big enough to come down now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. come on, bud. There you go, buddy. You guys are so fat. There you go. You guys are grounders now. You are grounded. Take care of them, mama. Oh my goodness. I don't know how many that is. We'll catch about five more and call it good. All right, one more bird. Which one should we take? You? You. Oh, unless he stays that high. That'll work. Kind of warm now. All right, let's bomb over to Dustin's place and get this done. Want to make sure there's plenty of ventilation for these guys. All right, here we go. All right, well we're almost there. Hopefully everyone's uh, enjoying the ride, you know. Anyway, I'm not sure what colors and stuff we're gonna be able to get, but it should be a good variety though because getting rid of a bunch of birds. There's gotta be a bunch of color there. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that. Come on you fluffy chickens. You guys look like snowballs. Yep, we see you. Run Them there is silkies. They they're kind of funny. They they're like a big pillow running around. It has been a while since I've been in here. Well, what do you know? There's still a bunch of pigeons. Calm down, guys. Bunch of cool reds in here. Some pied. Holy crap. There's a bunch of birds up here again. Well, Dustin's keeping all his breeders, so anything with a band gets to stay. But everything else, fair game, you know? At least I think that's right. All right, so uh, oh, this could get fun. We'll see what happens here. Oh, that one's cool. I might be doing more catch and release than anything else. Yeah. Okay. Um, so many, it's hard to pick one. Hey, look, my first one's no band. Want a twin to that one? Huh? Want a twin to that sure, one? Sure, absolutely. That's cool, though. 
like someone used his tail for a paintbrush. I'm not near as fast as you are. Holy cow. Uh -huh. Band. Be free! Ooh, there's a cool one. That one's young too. This guy here is super young. Look how short his tail is. But look at that. That's cool. Band? No band. Cool. Oh, that's cool. It's like a Grizz bar type thing. Oh, there's that red one. He's struggling to get up there. That one. Please be no band. No band. There we go. That there's a fancy pigeon. Oh, that's some pretty Grizz stuff there. I like Grizzes though. I think they're cool. You're banded, never mind. You're banded. Ha <laughs> ha, snag. Snag him out of the air. Phew. Oh, I already saw the band. The old blue band on there. You're pretty though. That was kind of accidental. Banned it again. Oh! <laughs> he didn't make it very far past me. Well, yeah, he made it real far past me. He didn't make it past you, though. Dustin went on the other side, can you tell? All right, so we got done catching the ones up in the top off. We're gonna try and pick out another few down here. Whoa! There's a red bar. Pretty. All right, we caught a couple out of here. We're gonna go over and take a few of the pure white ones now. So two days ago, <laughs> Dustin had a hen hatch out some chicks. She's not impressed with having to live in here though, but they're so cute. We'll leave, we'll leave mom alone. I wish she doesn't freak out too much more. He also had some guineas hatch, what, a month ago? Uh, yeah, three or four weeks ago. So we got some three or four week old guineas in with the mama here. I think guineas are just one of the craziest looking birds. And obnoxious. Okay, mama, I'm sorry. We better leave him alone. Mama doesn't like me around here. Just so many white pigeons. I think we're getting three of these. Yeah, three of them. It's about to call you the pigeon whisperer, then you missed the first one, so good thing I didn't make that mistake. No band. Camera shy. He can catch him with a net that has a hole in it. <laughs> There's a much bigger hole than what's supposed to be in that thing. All right, one more. All right, well that does it here. All right, don't sit on each other the whole time. You don't want to get too hot. Thanks, Dustin. Yep, no problem. Yeah, all right, we gotta get these birds back to the loft and get them uh, spread out. <sighs> okay, so made back to the loft. Got a bunch of them here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna band them, chuck them in. Look at this guy. Got a white throat patch. Basically just a blue bar with a bunch of white in him. It's all white. Got a little bit of gray on his head. Just a touch on the tips of the wing and the very end of his tail. I'm a pretty cool looking bird. Nice grizz there. This guy, another white throat patch there. It's a check. White flights. Look kind of a cool looking bird. Check this guy out. I'm pretty happy about this red. He's a real young bird, but isn't that pretty? 
I really like the whites. The white mixed in there with the red. I think he's gorgeous. Give me a thumbs up if that's a gorgeous bird. He wants a thumbs up. Check this Grizz out though. Isn't that gorgeous? I love Grizz. I don't know if you guys like them or not, but I think they're cool. <laughs> Look at this squeaker. He is such a baby. Well, hear him? Come on, dude. But look at his color. Isn't that beautiful? I love how uniform it is. Dark along the whole edge of the wing with the red through it. Ah, oh, I like that. That's pretty. This one here, we got... He's not real strong feathered yet. I think it's because he's so, probably so young. But it's a little red bar that we got here. Or at least he wants to be a red bar. Most, I dare say all of the birds that we got are really young. And so I really think that most of these birds won't actually produce anything till next year, which I'm fine with. Be less birds to feed throughout the winter, but I really think that they'll be able to mature nicely and throw some nice color into the, to the big loft though. I'm losing light pretty fast, but I did just get a message from Dustin a little bit ago. And he said that someone else dropped off some pigeons uh, to sell to the buyer. And he said, hey, there's some pretty ones in there if you want. Um, I'm not home right now, but stop in and trade out some more if you want. So we're gonna catch some more stuff and go see if we can find some more pretty birds. So uh, I'm not gonna film the catching part because it's just too dark up here. It's gonna be horrible. I caught 25 of them actually. It's kind of surprised that there were that many. Um, I thought I lost quite a few. But uh, I know there's at least one, if not two, that I left behind, and we were on band number 44. I guess I did throw a couple that I caught out of the silo in there without banding them, so. I might have only lost like four or five birds, which that's way better than 10. So anyway, got 25 more, headed back over to Dustin's, and uh, we're gonna swap them out again, see what we end up with. Okay, it's the next morning, and I'm getting ready to release these birds that we traded out. Got some pretty white pied looking things. Another red bar here. That's kind of a cool grizz. Look that. Check this guy out. That is some snazzy looking bird right there. Brought some of the ferals back. We didn't trade them all out. Cool looking grizz pie. I don't know what you call that actually. Pretty though. Check this out. Got some red and the, the blue in there. White. That's pretty. <laughs> Collision. Got some really dark red going on too. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump the rest of these guys out. Um, I'm sure they're thirsty after being in the cage all night. But uh, the rest of them look kind of the same reds and pieds and stuff like that. We actually traded out 35 birds yesterday. So most all of the ferals. Um, are gone, except for about seven or eight of them. I did take the baby, um, little squeaker. I went and set him down in the Modena pen with the other little babies. He is safe. Hopefully there'll be some nests made soon. I kind of doubt that there'll be a whole lot of that because a lot of the birds that we brought in um, are real young. Uh, so it probably will be a little bit, but you know, give them some time to settle in and you know, with enough food and water in a nice place, they might, they might surprise me. They might just start going crazy. So I can hope anyway. But anyway, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one.